Hi guys, welcome back to another tactic test on Games FM. I hope you're all really, really well. Today we are looking at the Rafa Benitez 4231 system from back when he was at Valencia. Now, this is by a guy called Mia 8. It's available on Sorry Outside. And the description the link for the download, sorry, is in the bio below. Let me tell you now, this tactic delivered three cup finals, one league title, and a little bit of disappointment. So let's show you the results. Now, as we always do, we use three teams, Arsenal, Milan, and Barcelona. So let's have a look how we got on with Arsenal first. We finished fifth, which isn't terrible. Um, you know, when you look at the teams above them, you would expect them to finish above them. They all outspend Arsenal considerably. And in terms of a season preview, um, we were supposed to finish fifth. I don't know why that is. That. That's weird. There we go. Season preview actually had his finishing fourth ahead of uh, Man United. I just realized I clicked on some weird like that. Anyway, so let's have a look how we got on. 38 games, 18 wins, 12 defeats, 8 draws, 76 goals. So the squad were 55 conceded defensively. Far, far, far too leaky for my liking. Um, let's have a look at the squad then. Uh, let's have a look at the other competitions first. We reached the, we finished runners up um, in the Europa League. We lost to Napoli in the final, uh, which was gutting 1 0. Quarterfinals to the FA Cup and Carabao Cup third round. We're not overly fussed about it. In terms of squad performance, uh, Gabriel, Jesus, Gabriel Jesus got 27 goals and Leandro, uh, Leandro Trosso got 20. Odegaard got 14 as well. And then in terms of the assist, he got 14. So Odegaard 14, Smith Rowe 14, Fabio Pereira got 13, and Gabriel Jesus got 11. Um, Tommy Asu also got nine, which is really good from a defensive point of view. Data hub wise, if we have a look, we are looking at predominantly attacking wise, we were very good. Goals per game was above the league average, non expected penalty goals and shots per game all above the league averages, and the pass completion ratio slightly higher. But the conceded was terrible, um, it really was so. What is what is a little bit disappointing is obviously Rafa Benitez has always prided himself on being a very good defensive coach. That kind of goes against that ethos just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look at how we did overall. Though, if we go to um, team detail here, we averaged fifty six percent possession, um, which isn't you know dreadful. It's you know just not it's not far off the league's best. Um, Pass completion ratio is what probably lets us down a little bit. So let's go over to Milan. How did we get on with these guys? So in terms of the league, we finished eighth. Absolutely dreadful. 58 points, 16 uh, wins, 10 draws, 12 defeats. A goal difference of eight. We were knocked down the round of 16 of the Champions League by Atletico Madrid. We knocked out the quarterfinals of the Italian Cup, and we finished runners up in the Italian Super Cup. So not, you know, not great. If I'm being honest. Um, but it could have been worse. Let's have a look at the squad before we jump into the data hub. 16 goals for Giroud, uh, 9 for Junior Messias, um, Messias and 8 for Origi. Nothing to screw, you know, nothing to write home about with Milan here. 8 assists for Calabria. Um, Theo Hernandez got 7 and uh, Krunic got 6. It's It screams underperformance and average and it doesn't, this tactic doesn't fit Milan. Let's just be very honest about it. It doesn't fit Milan at all. Um, but I think with some transfers, it could data hub wise. Um, again, we're actually, I mean, do you know what blows my mind just a little bit here? We aren't less than the league. And maybe on that one, we are 0 0.0, 0 0.04 fewer on goals conceded per game in the league. I mean, that's how tight it is, but we are higher on everything on average than the rest of the league combined. And yet we finished eighth, which goes to show just how strong Serie A is. If we go back to the league, Inter Milan smashed it. Napoli finished fifth, um, by the way. Let's fly over to Barcelona then and how we did we get on there. Now we won the Liga, 90 points, 28 wins, 6 draws, 4 defeats, a goal difference of 60. We lost in the Champions League final to Liverpool, 1-0, quarterfinals of the Spanish Cup and the semi-finals of the Super Cup. So again, another cup final. But we did get a trophy this time, uh, 90 points, which is pretty good. Um, let's have a look, <coughs> excuse me, at the data hub then. Just phenomenal in terms of where we are defensively. It was better. The shots we were taking per game were better. Um, 
you know, shots on target ratio was good. Everything is better, but Barcelona are a very, very good team. So that has to be weighed in. You're probably looking somewhere in between Arsenal and Barcelona for a, for a good team. Um, I would say it is, it's good. Let's have a look at the squad then. Lewandowski, 56 goals. Fatty, 14. And Pedri, 12. And assist-wise, Pablo Torre got 18. Gavi got 14. Jordi Alba got 12 from left back. Dembele got 11 coming off the bench. And Lewandowski got 10 himself. <clears throat> so, pretty good all in all. So, let's have a look how this tactic actually works. Now, in terms of how the tactic works, it's a 4-2-3-1, but without wingers. Um, so, it is slightly different to the, the traditional 4-2-3-1. So, let's have a look. We have a sweeper, goalkeeper, no additional instructions. Fullbacks either side both set to attack, and they have both got stay wider, but also mark tighter. We Defensively, we try and nullify quite a lot. Two ball playing defenders, both with the instructions of stopper. Very interesting. And they've both been told to stay wider. So we, you know, again, I don't understand that, but it's not my tactic. I'm just checking it. I think if you take that off, you probably concede less goals. In the middle of the part, we have two ball winning midfielders. Now on the right, we have him set to defend with the instructions of Mark Tyre. Next to him is support. We're going to tell him to go wide and again, Mark Tyre. So to me, just to me, what that means is this guy is going to be staying here. This one's over here. Now, if I put him here. Huh. And because bear in mind as well, these are going to be this way. So if put them here. They're going wide. Does, does anybody kind of, if I just do this very quickly, I will move them back. Just on the instructions from this tactic. There is a big hole right here. And it doesn't sit well with me that that is how, um, how it's been set up. But let's uh, just reload that tactic very quickly. So the front four then, we have an attacking midfield is either side, both set to attack. They're going to run wide with the ball and move into channels. They are going to close down from the front and mark tighter. That is the same for both. So these are acting like your wingers, but they're going to start from the narrow and go out wide which means they're not isolated out here. In the middle, we have the attack advanced playmaker set to attack who's going to roam from your position and close down more. So if you think of Liverpool, this was your Steven Gerrard. He would come back, he would go forward, he would arrive in the box late. That is what you're looking for. And then up front, you have your pressing forward. He's going to roam from position. So a little bit more, he can go across anywhere across the three, drop into the hole here if your um, advanced playmaker has gone forward. So it works quite nicely, to be, to be quite honest. So the tactic in itself, I mean, I'm going to give it a six and a half out of 10. It generated 210 points over the three saves, which isn't terrible. Um, but I think with some tweaks, it just it doesn't sit well. If I go back to that that image that I had before, where you've got the center backs, I've been told to stay wide, as is your right sided ball midfielder. Bear in mind, these are, these are run wide, so these aren't to stay wide either. You know, I think even if you move him centrally, that is still, you know, there's a big channel here. Your centre backs are out wide. Your full backs are potentially bombed on. Do you see? It just doesn't sit very well with me how that tactic would work. So that's why it's a 6.5 out of 10. Now, I think if you had, I just load that tactic back again because otherwise it's going to change things. If I put these and I was to take that out, I think you've got a much better tactic. I really, really do. Um, but it's a six and a half out of ten. I think some tweaks, it'll definitely get, definitely get more points. 210, though, is not bad over the three seasons, especially with the league title. Three cup finals. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, so, yeah, now, obviously, let's that is the that is, that, let's see it in a nutshell. It puts it. Let's have a look at the league table. So, 210, we've got 6, 211, 6 in our table out of um, 13 so far. So, it's mid table. Mid table. Um, the, the table is still being propped up by NDF Heats 424 on beaten season after um, we've got these 83 points um, everywhere else. But then top of the league now is Gers tactic we did on Monday, the uh, 433 Dynamite, which got 254. It's pretty much a perfect season. Barcelona getting a massive 95 points, <coughs> excuse me, in that tactic. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I mean, that. that 
there's not really much else I can say about this now. Please, please, please make sure you hit subscribe and hit like so um, you don't miss out any future content, but also you um, it will help share this video for me. It is much appreciated. From now on, on Fridays and Saturdays, I'm streaming back over on Twitch um, for various reasons. So please, please drop by and support me there. The link is in the bio, um, and I would love to see you there. Where we continue our journey in the Wanderer, we've just started. We're just about to start season three, um, having qualified for Europe next season with Aston Villa. So it's exciting times over on that save. I'll see you all soon. Hopefully, I'll see you all Friday night. You have a great, great day, guys, and I'll catch you.